morning. Well, I've been uh, back at the boat a couple of days now and uh, continuing on with <laughs> the endless, endless uh, insulation. Uh, though I feel now at least I am, uh, I, I feel I'm at least at the lowest point as it were, and I can see, I can see an end to it, which is, which is great. So basically I'm, I'm here for just over a week and what I've got to do is, uh, well, the idea is to screw the buttons in, uh, foam in, in the insulation as required, and uh, and then use some uh, silver tape to tape the joints. Uh, a couple of couple of things, a couple of snags. I started putting the buttons in a, a day when I, as soon as I arrived, and then I routed the uh, the sort of self self driving screws that they're using to put into the metal buttons. I ordered some more from Screwfix, uh, and unfortunately, Screwfix they said they would deliver. Uh, they said they'd be available the next working day, which was yesterday. I'm still on hurt and a thing, so I've had to reschedule my uh, my work plan a bit which is fine though so uh, I'm just cutting up the insulation to uh, to fill the, the gaps where the where the metal reinforcing bars are uh, needs to be sort of covered up uh, otherwise that will be obviously a gap in, in the insulation and uh, especially the ceiling which I'm not looking forward to doing but uh, has, has to be done uh, yeah so uh, not quite as well. The actually putting the buttons in is quite is quite demanding because especially on the ones behind the scene, you really got to put your weight behind the drill, and obviously when you're sort of reaching above. Uh, but yeah, I said uh, I, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I'm here for just over a week. I'm very much very much uh, hoping that I can get this this phase done before I leave, and uh, that will feel extremely good. And uh, yeah, I'd be very glad to come back. See the see the, uh, the back of this uh, this job. Anyway, catch you later. So I've been uh, you probably saw saw in the other video. I've been keeping all the trimmings from all the main things. So what I'm doing now is where all the reinforcing ribs are, which I couldn't quite get cut the insulation through. I'm going through and cutting up uh, using these strips and cutting them, filling up the. Uh, holes some some of them fit perfectly and I'll, and I'll just able to tape them over some some aren't quite quite great and I will then get the get the good old spray foam and, and fill them up uh, but yeah so not only is it nice to get rid of some of the <laughs> some of all the all the junk as it were but it's uh, it sort of saves a bit of like yeah each one you have to sort of cut up a bit like this uh, you don't want it sticking out, but it is good. It does reduce the. It does reduce the ovens. And probably somewhere go a bit better. There you go. And uh, sorry about the noise. Uh, there's a JCB being replacing the hardcore right literally just outside the boat so it's a bit noisy in here so sorry if you can't the video is the audio is not so great What I'm doing here, bringing, taking all the tiles down again, which is, isn't great, but uh, in the uh, where the battens run across, there's of course there's a gap here, and I don't want to just leave it leave it open because although there's a, it's not touching metal per se, what is there, but the, I don't want any any chance of any convection currents building up there. So these these are all the bits that I uh, cut from the, all the chafing buttons because are this more or less the shape of the wood. So those with a bit of trimming, those. Blip, he says doing it left-handed that's it but those just about fit in quite nicely and then replace those and it should uh, just add a bit more insulation
Hello again. Well, the buttons are uh, finally all in, which is uh, great. So hopefully nothing, well the ceilings, ceilings still got to be foamed in, but uh, hopefully things will stop falling apart so much now. Well, so the next, uh, next phase in the endless insulation is now I've got to go along and glue in all the strips, etc. that I did, and uh, any time where there's, where there's sort of gaps. Basically, when I started doing this, I was, I was, I was, I started at the very end putting quite lots of foam in, but then I realised I was just overdoing it because I'm basically going to now go through it and seal, as I've done here, seal any sort of big gaps in in this. Uh, and then anyway, I'm going over. <laughs> once that's done, I'm going over with aluminium tape to really sort of seal everything off. So it was a, uh, it was over over egging or over foaming. Uh, the only thing, of course, with this expanding foam is it's expanding. So what happens is uh, I put some foam in the in the bottom bits here. But as you see, as you guess, you know, when the foam expands and pushes it out, so I've basically uh, created a system, too fancy word for it, but, but using some old, old uh, offcuts, I will, uh, once, I've, once I've screwed the, sorry, foamed in the, the panels, I've just then put a uh, bit of a batten over to, to hold it in place until it's set, which is about 30 minutes. Not looking so much to forward to this bit, but uh, I'm at least feel I'm on the downward slope to, to completion, so I'll just crack on with it and uh, hopefully we'll be over in the next few days. Some insulation. Uh, well, I felt absolutely ropey the last few days. It's, uh, I guess, it's one of the one of the long COVID respites. I mean, I, I, the only thing I can think it is because it just feels like you have COVID. Though I do a test and I, I haven't. So, anyway, I tried to have a few. Try, well, two days running, I thought, well, I'll just have a rest and keep uh, keep. Going. But then you're lying here looking up and just just it's impossible to relax. So, I took some. Took some paracetamol and just uh, just pushed on. The good news, though, is that actually for the for once I've uh, I've sort of <laughs> things went faster than expected. What I spent yesterday and the day before was basically up here doing the uh, basically foaming the, the ceiling in, and uh, and also then and putting the putting the, the the strips into the where the stiffening ribs are, which both of them took me about a day, which was actually quicker than I sort of anticipated, expecting everything done. Uh, so I'm kind of on the downward stroke yet. Unfortunately, there's one. I'm back now to uh, cutting bits of uh, insulation up, which I thought I'd seen the back of this little ones. But the reason is, if you just excuse with me, is basically up here. Uh, this bit, I, I've sort of caused myself. Uh, I think I might have mentioned this before, but what I, I caused myself no end of, of, of hassle by what I've done is. To try and keep the ceiling heights, you know, I've minimised the, the the gap, so the the insulation, the battens are are more or less level. But just down the side, I wanted somewhere to run the uh, run some wires. So the only way I could do that is basically I took the insulation and and hacked it down so it's a little, little bit. So as you can see, then there's a bit of a uh, a gap. Oops, sorry, out there. It's about to start outside, which has been joyful. Uh, however, this one last thing remaining is these little you know, exposed metal here. Which the original plan was just to go out with the uh, the, the 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 foam because I've got loads of that left and just sort of fill it up. But it's having a having a go at that. It was uh, I started. You can't really see it, but I started on there. And it doesn't it doesn't really uh, it doesn't work so well. I mean, if you try, you can fill up the gap, but if you try to start covering the whole thing with uh, with foam, it just falls off and you end up with it uh, literally in your hair, which I've got. <laughs> Of course, I've got foam in my hair, I've got foam in my beard, I've got foam bloody everywhere. But anyway, so what the idea there is, so I'm just going to cut up some small pieces like this and like this, uh, boring, and then just run all these down, and then finally, uh, that should be it for the uh, for the walls and the ceiling. So back to the insulation. <laughs>
Uh, so, final, well, final is it final? Well, it's the home run anyway of the insulation. Uh, the thing I've got to do now is is trim off all the uh, all the excess foam and then go over the joints with this uh, aluminium foil tape, which is just li literally like a you know, kitchen tin foil with sticky tape on, only about five times the price. Uh, I started, I've started back there and I have to confess that that's the problem with these things. It's just such drudgery. You start at the end and you start, the end is in the end of the boat and then you look and it's just, oh goodness. I, that there was a point where I just thought, well, hang on, there's all this foam in here. I'm just, why bother with this and just do the bits that I, I don't. But I, I stopped and thought, well, no, I'm going to, if I don't do it all of this properly, you know, I've got the stuff. I'm just going to then lie there for the, uh, the remaining uh, remaining time and think, oh, what a, the whole thing is, is I want to stop any moisture getting into the, into this because the way, you know, if you get moisture, if, if you get moist air somehow seeping into back there, when it hits the coals part, which will be the outside in the winter, you know, it will condense and therefore you're going to have moisture in the uh, you know, condensing behind the insulation, which is the last thing you want. So I think it's worth the, uh, although I said boring as hell, but thanks, uh, thanks, thanks to Chris, I've got, uh, got a good podcast. My mother's sending me some recommendations as well. So uh, it, it's so dull that music doesn't cut it. You actually need something to take your mind off it. So I'm listening to a very good uh, Good stuff about Apollo 13 from the BBC World Service, which is highly recommended. If you, it's called 30 Minutes of the Moon, and it's series two. I watched the, I've listened to series one already, but uh, it's uh, helping me no end. So thanks, Chris, for that. And uh, yeah, onward, onward. But yeah, I've got two days left. I'm just really hoping that I can get this done before I leave. That will be uh, such a, such a, such a joy. <laughs>
I've got to do the book. I'll at least cut the cut the, cut the insulation bulkheads. And there's all the stuff onto the bow, which is going to be an absolute pain because it's not only does it curve inwards, it all curves upwards. So it's basically a curve in two planes. So it's going to be real fun cutting the insulation for that. But hey ho and. Uh, also, I just said I've no idea whether that uh, tape is uh, I've got, if I've overdone it. I've just got I've got this horrid feeling when I come back from the end of the weekend and there's been a heat wave. <laughs> the, the boat, if it gets as hot as it has done, uh, I've got these visions of all this tape just being fallen off and lying on the floor, <laughs> hundreds of kilometers, not kilometers, meters, and that would be a bit depressing. Anyway, I hope you're good, and uh, I will catch you uh, catch you later. Bye.